Hi guys, today we have Dr. Preeti with us, uh, who's uh, been one of, who's had a great accomplishment in the recently concluded INIS exams. She's got an All India rank of two, which is phenomenal in uh, pediatric anesthesia. Uh, she's been one person who, who's been consistently solving our. Uh, so, yeah, first of all, congrats, Dr. Preeti, for your phenomenal achievement. And Thank you, sir. For the purpose of the audience, could you please introduce yourself first? Yeah, yes, sir. I am Dr. Preeti June. I am a senior resident in GMC Saranpur. I have done my uh, MD anesthesia from SGPG IMS Lucknow, and now I am serving my bond. And along with that, I'm I was preparing for a DM pediatric anesthesia in particular, and uh, I was. Using Surge Test app for the last uh, six months, I had started using it in uh, November, and I found it very effective for my uh, preparation. So, where did you do MBBS from? So, I did my MBBS from Grand Gov <laughs> Grand Government Medical College, Mumbai. That, that is JJ oh, Hospital. Great, great. great. Okay. So, yeah, tell me, Doctor Priti, why pediatric anesthesia? So you have so many options after anesthesia. Why specifically pediatrics anesthesia? Because that's something less chosen and uh, not something that's sought after very widely among anesthesiologists, if you know. So why pediatric anesthesia? So pediatrics is um, I uh, got an opportunity uh, to work with pediatric patients uh, because of my uh, uh, PG uh, uh, place. Uh, I had my thesis in pediatric anesthesia. I used to work a lot with uh, age group of uh, right from the neonates till uh, six, 18 years of age group. So I had most of my postings in pediatric surgery department. Right. So I got very comfortable, uh, especially the pediatric doses. And these are uh, very calculative. You have to be very particular in that uh, with everything because they don't have that reserve, the pediatric patients. Yeah. They have the least reserves and it's very challenging. And I love to uh, have command over something which is challenging. So I found it very uh, intriguing and uh, found it uh, to be. And the lesser number of seats also uh, tells the importance that uh, it is upcoming branch. And I should dive into it since I already have the interest in the field. Oh, great. That sounds great. Okay. So, was this your first attempt in INI? Sir, uh, my first attempt was uh, in October 2023 and I got rank 7. That time I was not using search test F. I got to know about that. And then I, when I started using it, I got to know some of the questions were from the app. And also, it helped in clearing, uh, re, re, uh, going back to Miller's again, most of the standard textbooks. So, I liked it because it helped me in revising my Miller's. Okay. So, can you tell us a journey? When did you start preparing for this uh, section, this uh, session of INISS, and how many days it took you? What was your exact preparation like? How did you manage your work as as well as your uh, preparation? Because for most of the people who are going to watch this, are going to be aspirants who are going to be working. So maybe your uh, your story might actually help them to prepare and manage their time effectively. So, how did you manage your work as as well as your preparation? And what, how was your journey actually? When did you start and how did it go along? So I started uh, preparing for pediatric anesthesia uh, after my final, uh, after my MD. Uh, earlier, I didn't have that much interest. Uh, I was, earlier I was into critical care, but as soon as I came to know that there is a complete shift in the syllabus, I will have to again go through medicine. <laughs> So I completely yeah. changed my uh, interest and uh, went for pediatric anesthesia because I already had interest for it. So I started, uh, I had uh, talked to some of my seniors who were in PGH Chandigarh who were pursuing DM pediatric anesthesia. So from them, I came to know that all I have to do is Miller's. The pediatric anesthesia part, I have to be thorough in it. And uh, so that uh, that is uh, so I started uh, reading Miller's the pediatric anesthesia part. I prepared notes of, of it, and um, while solving MCQs, I used to like um, and again, and uh, I also solved uh, MCQs from Lippincott and uh, Brian Hall. Brian Hall I couldn't complete it, but uh, Lippincott I completed the uh, MCQ book uh, whole. 
and i revise it once uh, i i am a slow learner like uh, i i do the things very slowly but i retain it for a longer time so my strategy is slightly different that i do it slow but i retain it for a longer time okay and uh, okay. whatever time i used to get in even in the ot's i used to flip uh, the mcqs i i had this app so i it was very easy for me to just go back to home uh, after my duty hours and revise those topics from uh, millers great yeah so i you have spoken a word or two about our app but if i may ask for the benefit of the students who are watching this how do you use the search test uh, analysis question like effectively to modulate your preparation like uh, see how did, did you find it useful did you find questions from the app in the questions how did you how did you go through the app and how did how was it useful in your exam preparation i used to start with uh, the topics like uh, with pediatrics so i started with pediatric part portion only so when i was uh, going through the mcqs i used to uh, get to know that these are the important topics and uh, as in when the reference was given after each and every question so which were wrong question it was or whether it was uh, even correct i used to go back to my millers i used to read that extensively and uh, even if i didn't uh, used to get some of the answers like if it, if i'm I'm not able to understand it. I used to ask my seniors about the, uh, the augmented with the concept, and like no, not just the rote learning that uh, I I did not I I don't believe in uh, by hearting the questions. I used to I believe that I have to read all around it. The topic should be thorough. Yeah. And the so, topics are repeated also. Uh, okay. So basically, you say Miller is the key. Whatever you do, Miller is the key, and uh, maybe you can use the. I saw it in my two items. Yeah. So you mean Miller is the key, and yes, you sir. want to go back? Question back means like the question. stepping stone. Yeah. 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 Please go ahead. Yes. Uh, it's like the MCQs are like the it gives the most important uh, grip for that that topic. It's like Miller's is like vast. You can't go about and uh, retain each and everything. So MCQs, uh, these MCQs are like the key concepts that helps us in remembering the uh, theory part around the topic. Yeah. So you get to know the most important things. Yeah. So MCQs. So one thing I would like to reinforce here to all the Helps students who are watching this. Yeah, that is Miller is the key. Whatever you do, Miller is the key. As Dr. Preeti rightly reiterated, Miller is the key. Whatever analysis exam we are writing, Miller is the key. And utilizing the question bank as a uh, addendum or as a complement to whatever uh, Miller's you are reading, and going back to each after each question or each of your wrong responses, going back to Miller and reading it would probably enhance your preparation and probably like anywhere between three to six months, depending on how much of time you have, is probably the right way moving forward as we understand from whatever Dr. Preeti said. Am I right, Dr. Preeti? Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah. Okay. So even I would like to say even the interview part. i could say the questions were directly from millers like the fluid management in pediatrics the cdh management yeah. the exact lines were being anticipated that i have to tell from millers just as a out of curiosity was the question bank useful for the interview i mean i know it was like a few questions came directly from the question bank in the uh, mcq exam were there any questions that helped you this is a question bank help you in the interview part of it? like any questions because uh, this is something i am hearing for the first time so did it help you in any way the question bank yeah sir i uh, because uh, i had a uh, four or five days uh, for the interview so i just uh, once again i re revised my pediatric part uh, uh, pediatric mcqs portion from the app and uh, read the theory just around it so it okay. helped okay the thing uh and there is sir there was a question about uh, congenital pyloric stenosis why the patient in the post operative period has the chances of post operative apnea this is because of csf as a colossus which might take yeah. a longer time to settle in so that yeah. was the reason so uh, i was very happy when i saw that question in the exam also so i believe that question was also there in the app that was like we had picked that question early on late early this year so yeah yes sir Great, 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 Doctor Preeti. So it was nice having a chat with you. And is there anything else you want to tell the aspirants? Anything that from your side you want to tell them? What's the way forward? Like just to have the finishing uh, touch. 
anything you want to tell them so uh, one should uh, should pursue his or her dream whether the seat is just one or uh, wh- whatever attempts it may take you just have to pursue a d- a dream don't be backed uh, by th- your rank or whatever like and just millers is the key i would say <laughs> because this is what my yeah. uh, uh, even uh, se- seniors used to tell me that you have to read millers and this is what i actually saw in the exams that the word by word exactly. the millers are is being asked exactly exactly so millers is the key yes. if you are an anesthesiologist yes millers is the key beat an entrance exam beat your practice wherever you go millers is going to remain the key unless somebody else decides to write a better book until then millers will remain the key so yeah nice visit it is nice talking to you dr preeti thank you so much and all the best for your uh, thank you so uh, counseling and the for the future of your career and all the best thank you thank you so much thank you thank you sir good night thank you yeah.